So today is Tuesday, which is technically day four, although this is moving vlog number two. Um, I had start yesterday. I had the the intention of going out and shopping for a desk, and we did. We went around and looked at some uh, some secondhand stores. The one that we wanted to go to, the Habitat Restore, which someone had suggested in the comments, was actually closed on Monday. So we're probably going to go this weekend on Saturday to look for either a reclaimed desk, and if that doesn't work out, I'll probably end up just getting the oak countertops that I had originally planned up at Ikea. But for today, I've actually already gone ahead and taken out my second desk over here, and I put one of my work tables over there just to keep my PC up off the floor. So right now I've got that table on the floor. I'm going to be taking the legs off and going bringing that stuff over to my girlfriend's house. She's at work right now, so I'm going to be kind of on my own doing this, but I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. But uh, yeah, I'm going to bring some stuff over there so I can at least have a PC set up so I can do some work there. I'm going to bring the Acer XR382CQK Ultra Wide Monitor so I can edit on that and also work on the video when I'm over there. And I'm going to bring all my, my most a lot of my filming gear, not everything, but I've pretty much been going everywhere with my camera anyway. So I'll just I'll bring that along with me and a tripod and everything. So I got that all set up. And for a PC, I'm going to be bringing my AMD Ryzen Better Red build because I need to have a really strong, powerful rendering machine. And I still haven't uh, transitioned all of my files and everything over from my 6800K, my X99 build, into the Better Red system. So that is, I'm going to take advantage of, you know, this, this transition and this move and everything so I can do that now and get everything on here. I'm going to upgrade my editing software to Vegas Pro 14, I believe is the latest one. Now, I've been on 13. I haven't bothered upgrading yet, even though I have the upgrade installer sitting there. So I'm going to upgrade that on this system, get all my files and everything transferred over today on an SSD. I've got two 960 gigabyte SanDisk SSDs that I had bought for the Ryzen 5 coverage. So I'm going to take those out of those test systems and throw them in here so I've got some really fast scratch drives we're not, well, not super fast, but, you know, they're fast enough. They're SSDs, so they'll be good for running games and, uh, you know, doing some initial edits on vlogs like this. And the also the ultra-wide monitor review for the Acer XR382CQK. One hell of a mouthful, that there. But the first step right now is going to be to get the legs off of the Linmon desk that I have here so that I can uh, get it into my car comfortably because I don't have a truck. I just got, like, a I have a Buick sedan, so... Uh, it's got the fold-down back seats and everything, so I should be able to fit it okay, but I do have to take the legs off in order to be able to get it in there. And then I'm going to bring it over to, to the new house, get this set up in the studio with the Ryzen renderer, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I've been here a couple of hours and in that time I've managed to get the first desk set up, or well, the only desk that I brought over for, for now anyway. The Acer Ultra Wide Monitor that I mentioned earlier and the Ryzen Renderer system. I've got two more systems downstairs. Uh, my mini ITX system which you saw, which was my travel rig for PAX East this year. And also the system that I used for my 1600X testing in that review. So. I've got everything set up here, at least that I need for now, so that I can start working on some content from this location while also still having everything back at my old home, at my family home, with, uh, you know, still got systems set up over there. So I can really work from either place right now for the time being, but that's, that'll only be temporary for the next week or so while I'm still transitioning everything over here. But at least we've got it all set up. It's still kind of a bit of a, uh, a mess up here. There's the monitor box over there. We've still got some of this stuff that I still need to put shelves on there. So we're still waiting to kind of kind of finish up. If you remember, I had actually I had mentioned the outlet issue. Well, we got that um, semi-resolved. We switched it over to three-prong outlets, and I'm running it to uh, one of these really awesome Belkin surge protectors, which just showed up today. It is this one right here, which if I can uh, zoom in on that. Yeah, this is the one right here. It's uh, got 12 outlets, four straight down the middle, and then 
eight on the outside that are all adjustable so you can angle them in case you've got like, you know, big, you know, bulky plugs that you have to put in so they don't get in the way of the other so you can kind of rotate them around as you need to uh, to give yourself as much room as possible. I will be sure to uh, link to that one down in the description below over to Amazon for anyone that's interested in picking it up. I paid $30 for this one. Uh, it's got an eight foot cord, so yeah, pretty good. Should be, uh, should be enough to plug in most of my devices here. It's also got an indicator on there to let you know if you're grounded or protected or not. So really great that I picked that. I ordered that on Sunday. It just got here today because uh, I used the Amazon Prime thing. And you can see below that I've got the box for the 1080 Ti. Although right now on the system I'm using, I'm actually using the GTX 1080. I just used that box to kind of transport it over here because I couldn't find my 1080 box. But yeah, I'm running the Ryzen Better Red Render there. If you're wondering why I've got those two power cables kind of daisy chained together, the reason is that these ones right here, which come from WAS Mods, are they come pre-curved for based on the GPU that you're getting. And since this system was designed to use with AMD cards, where a lot of them have the uh, the power connector kind of turned upwards, I rather than rebending the cable and ruining it, I just connected it to one of the other ones that I had on hand. So that's why that's all like that. But yeah, the, and I, I wanted to put the 1080 in there because I'm testing, you know, 3840 by 1600 monitor. I need a pretty beefy GPU. And we still don't have Vega yet. I know the 500 series came out today. Didn't get any of those to test, by the way. Uh, I had spoken to AMD, but sampling was fairly limited on them. I know some channels only got one card, others got two, some got none. Unfortunately, I was one of the ones that got none. But they said that there might be a second wave of, of samples sent out to reviewers, so I'm kind of hopeful for that coming maybe in the next few weeks or so so we could test the 500 series here on the channel. So I'm feeling pretty good about having this initial setup done here at least with the, with the Ryzen system so that I can get some work done here. I was just playing, I just played a round of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds here on this system in Ultra Wide, which I, was, I hadn't tried it yet on Ultra Wide, and that game did support Ultra Wide right out of the box, so that was... That's really good that, that even in early access, the game like that is, uh, you know, supporting ultra wide resolutions like 3840 by 1600. And I could definitely see in a game like that how it might give some sort of tactical advantage because you could really see a lot of the battlefield on that. But it was it was awesome and I can't wait to play some more later on tonight. I'm going to get to rendering out to editing and rendering out this vlog for you guys right now and I will keep you apprised throughout the week as more changes come up. I still got to get my main desk, which I'm planning to put in the same location as this one right here. I just got to get a different one. This one was like a bit, a bit wobbly. And yeah, I just want to get, I want to get that oak desk and everything and get it sorted out. So yeah, hopefully you have a new desk here pretty soon. What the hell was that? I got ghosts here already. Got ghosts in the new house. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And uh, also got a new table coming today. We got a new kitchen table on the way, which is supposed to be early in like the next 30 minutes or so. So so, so, I'll probably get interrupted in the middle of editing, but it is what it is. Uh, just really happy to be here and having everything set up so that we can uh, put out some content on the channel. So I will catch you guys during the week with more videos and TGW tomorrow, which should be back at the, the old studio. I'll be doing TGW from there. But until then, I will catch you guys next time. Tara.